Three major strategies help people cope with and accept life's vicissitudes. The uncertainties and setbacks in life often leave us bewildered, anxious, and hopeless. Whether it's light setbacks in life or major life disasters, we all need to learn how to cope with and accept these changes. This is what we need to learn about life. Stoicism, an ancient philosophical system, offers us a deeply insightful perspective. Through this video, let's learn three stoic strategies, accepting and following nature, prioritizing inner morality, and fostering calmness and rationality in life, which together help us understand how to deal with and handle life's vicissitudes. Strategy one, accept and follow nature. Stoicism advocates following nature, a principle emphasizing that we should accept the unchangeable facts in life rather than resist them futilely. From the Stoics' perspective, nature not only refers to the natural environment, but also encompasses human rationality, emotions, and the characteristics of all other creatures. This concept emphasizes that we should accept and comply with these unchangeable facts rather than waste energy resisting them. In other words, we should accept the unpredictability of life itself, accept the inherent characteristics of human nature, and accept things beyond our control in life, such as natural laws, other people's thoughts, and behaviors, etc. To practice this philosophical view, we need to 1. Cultivate observation towards life. There are always some facts in life that we cannot change. For example, we cannot change the weather tomorrow, or we cannot change other people's attitudes towards us. Importantly, we need to identify these facts, not deny them. Through observation, we can more comfortably accept and cope with the unchangeable parts of life. 2. Deep Reflection Through reflection, we can understand what we can truly control and what we can't. Stoics classify things into two categories, one that we can control, such as our own thoughts, behaviors, etc., and another that we cannot control, such as others' behaviors, weather, etc., only when we realize and accept this fact can we truly follow nature. 3. Emotion Management Training Accepting and following nature doesn't mean we should be indifferent to the difficulties in life. We can choose how to face and feel these unchangeable facts. This requires us to learn to manage our emotions. For example, when we encounter difficulties, we should acknowledge the actual situation and accept it so we can calmly seek solutions to the problem instead of blindly getting stuck in a quagmire of emotions. It should be noted that following nature does not mean resisting nothing and passively accepting everything. For things that we can take action to change, we should act, not stand by. Also, accepting and following nature does not mean passively accepting all negative emotions and results. On the contrary, we should understand and control our emotions and maintain inner balance. Strategy two, inner morality is the most important. Stoicism emphasizes that virtue is the only good, meaning that moral character and moral behavior are the only truly essential things in our lives external things like health, wealth, and happiness, of course, are important and can enhance our quality of life, but they cannot determine our internal world. So we should focus on our controllable inner world rather than our uncontrollable outer world. No matter how the external environment changes, we can maintain stability and happiness by cultivating and maintaining our inner virtue thereby better dealing with and accepting life's vicissitudes. To practice this view, we should 1. Focus on what we can control. 
we should concentrate on what we can control, not what we cannot. For example, we cannot control how others perceive us, but we can control how we view and deal with others' opinions. Two, cultivate our moral character. In our daily lives, we often encounter situations that require moral decisions, like whether to be kind to people, how to treat others fairly, etc. When confronted with these decisions, we should act according to moral behavior, not immediate desires or feelings. Three, accept change. Life is full of variables and we cannot prevent changes, but we can decide how to face them. For instance, you may lose your job, get sick, etc. You can choose to complain or to accept this and look for potential new opportunities. It should be noted, focusing on what we can control doesn't mean we're indifferent to everything in the external world. It's not that we shouldn't care about situations in the external world, but rather that we shouldn't let our thoughts and emotions be totally influenced by external factors. In fact, our behavior can often impact the external environment. Also, while virtue is the only good, we shouldn't ignore other important issues like physical health. Strategy three, achieving inner calm through adaptation. In the spirit of stoic calm, even in difficult and challenging life conditions, one can maintain a calm and rational demeanor. The idea teaches us to confront life's challenges with a cool and rational attitude, keeping inner peace and calmness even in the face of life's changes and challenges and adapt to and overcome difficulties. This cool-headed and rational attitude is essentially a skill of self-management and self-regulation. To embody this concept, here are some specific methods. One, observing personal reactions. When you face difficulties or stress, try observing and identifying your feelings and reactions. Are you overly excited? Are your reactions appropriate? After observing your reactions, you can consciously adjust your behavior and emotional responses. Two, changing thought patterns. When confronted with difficulties, try to view them as challenges and opportunities that life presents to you or instruments to facilitate your growth and maturity. This kind of positive thinking helps you face and manage difficulties in a more calm and rational manner. Three, cultivating humility. Recognizing that we don't control all things in life brings wisdom that can assist us in recovering and moving forward when setbacks occur. Bear in mind, being calm and rational does not mean being emotionally indifferent or unconcerned with difficulties. Conversely, Stoicism encourages us to confront life actively and affirmatively, requiring us to genuinely feel and encounter life's difficulties to truly understand and overcome them. Simultaneously, keeping cool and rational does not mean ignoring our emotions, but acknowledging, caring for, and addressing our emotional needs and experiencing life authentically and wholeheartedly. In summary, building upon the wisdom of Stoicism, we are equipped with powerful psychological tools to face and tackle the changes and challenges in life. By accepting and conforming to nature, we learn to accept those facts that we can't change and focus on those that we can. By placing morality in the forefront, we focus more on our actions in the world we can control rather than the world beyond our reach. Finally, by maintaining an inner sense of calm in response to life, we can better adapt to life's changes and overcome hurdles. Remember, stoicism doesn't require us to be indifferent to everything in life. It teaches us to have the courage to change what can be changed to have the patience to endure what cannot be, and to have the wisdom to recognize 
the difference between the two. These three strategies provide a comprehensive framework guiding us on how to better face and accept life's vicissitudes, helping us be more serene, resilient, and wise in dealing with life's challenges. If you found it helpful, please like and share it for the benefit of more people.